Good morning. How do you intro your videos? What's up, guys? Well, oh, what's up, guys? <laughs> you want to taste of my margarita? That was, that was like that was like a six out of ten. You do it. You do it. You actually ignore the R. You say margarita. Oh, that's what it is. I feel like Max and I are long lost brothers. Yeah, yeah. I feel like his sense of humor every time. I just think he's hella funny. I watch him and I'm like, I'm gonna use some of his materials. I got him here in the building he today. He steals all my jokes. I do. I, I feel like Max is one of those people like in high school, you would have been afraid to like start beef with him because he's really quick and snap back at you. I want to be more like that. I was like 100 pounds in high school, so you definitely would have made fun I'd of me. I'd have been like, oh, Max, but then secretly you're like, this kid's going to roast me. Yeah, I would make fun of everyone. And um, let's be honest, I thought, I've done podcasts before where it's been like, hey, uh, we're going to do a podcast. Guy comes in, little microphone, laptop. Max brought the whole damn studio with him to St. George, Utah, which he actually loves. He's thinking about moving here now. Oh yeah, I thought the Rocky Mountains would be a little rockier, but honestly, <laughs> that John it's Denver's great. full of shit. <laughs> this podcast may just be an hour straight of movie quotes. Everyone is now dumber after listening to this podcast. <laughs> I do think quoting movies is a sign of intelligence. I actually read that somewhere. Like if you can quote movies and interject them at the right time. There is a certain intelligence have, you have to have. Have you seen uh, This Is The End? When it's like, one of the guys like starts doing movie quotes and, set, and uh, Jonah Hill's like, he's like, you have the sickest references, man. <laughs> Sick reference though, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. Dude, your references are out of control. Everyone knows that. That's what I feel. Like, people say it, they're like, there's Max with another yeah. stupid quote. Oh, it's so true. When you decided you wanted to create a podcast, you were like, I'm doing it either all or nothing. You're not like a halfway kind of guy, are you? You weren't like, hey, I'm starting with the bare minimum equipment. You're like, I'm going to go out and buy $100,000 worth of equipment, and we're going to do this podcast right. Three cameras, four lights, six microphones. Look, I, I think a lot of people live their life with a just-the-tip mentality, and I'm, a, I'm an all-in kind of guy. All-in. Yeah. He went all-in raw dog. Yeah, yeah. He's so hipster, so like Pinterest. He's like, hold up, my Polaroid. <laughs> Deleted. Deleted. Yeah, no, I know that. Come on, come on, Max. <laughs> Is that my liar? You're liar. Okay. <laughs> There's a few movies that I'll quote that it's unfortunate that no one knows the references that uh, I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, I feel that all the time. Some and people, everyone's like, what do you mean? No one gets it. It's no so one. true. I, yeah, it's so. I, I think Liar Liar is actually one of the. One yeah. of the oh, it is. Audrey. <laughs> Fletcher. Fletcher. Audrey. I used to have it on VHS and I would watch it every day after school. Every, every day, day after school? Yeah. You were, so you were a big, I could see the Jim Carrey-ness in Max. With my girlfriend, Taylor, I showed her, we watched the first Ace Ventura. I was like, you're gonna yeah. love this. And afterwards she was like, Max, that was the dumbest movie I've ever seen in my entire life. She's like, that was not funny at all. Uh, I was like, oh. I feel like you have to be in the right mood for like an Ace Ventura. But I did that with Morgan the other day. She was like, you gotta watch, you've never seen Norbit? You gotta watch Norbit. I watched Norbit and I was like, this, this, this That's is not fine. low key, this might be an unpopular opinion. I'm not a fan of movies where it's the same person playing multiple actors, like multiple characters in the movie. Not a fan of Eddie Murphy where he's everyone at the table. I just don't find that funny. Wait, he was playing all those characters? Yes, Max. Max. <laughs> next thing you're gonna Max. next thing you're gonna tell me is Austin Powers, fat bastard was and actually Michael Myers. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Don't Be Sour. I'm your host, Max Tuning, and we are here with a guest that I have been a longtime fanboy of for many, 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 many years for some reasons that I'll dive into later. Mr. Steve Cook. I had one move. I I was strong. I had one. I don't know I would, what your one move is. I I would wait till they would shoot, go for like a takedown, and then I called it the, the cement cement mixer. I don't know if it's called that, but basically they would shoot head like a. I guess I would put them in a reverse reverse headlock, and then up and under, like uh, underneath their arm here, yeah. and then turn them and pin them. Yeah, that, and now that, now that's what he does with Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, actually, Morgan is the scrappiest person I've yeah. ever met because she's so flexible and she has this gym, gymnastics background. So she's so flexible and so strong with her grip. Half the time I'm like tapping out <laughs> like Morgan, like if she did women's jujitsu, she would be in the UFC in five years, like really? and dominating the UFC. I'm, I'm kidding you not. Proud to announce. Morgan, get in here. We're, yeah. uh, your, your announcement to the UFC <laughs> is coming out right now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips and ever forward. That was so good. Let's go work out. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're about to. Yeah. Fitness. Fitness. Woo. Oh, 
I need a sour strip. So like from then to, I would say probably 2010 was the golden era of like, you had Wedding Crashers. Like I quote Wedding Crashers a lot. Zoolander I quote all the time. Steve just watched White Chicks. Makes seen. me so freaking pissed. <laughs> Terry Crews in that was actually, <laughs> Terry Crews was my favorite in that. Yeah, I know, I could tell. Growing up, the Wayne brothers were hit and miss for me. Like Major Honestly, Pain. that was their best. Major Pain was yeah. so good. Oh my. That was my favorite Wayne brothers. Like covering like, the kids with their heads and stuff. <laughs> if I poked you in the stomach, would you go? So the one I knew Taylor was a keeper, I was like, Taylor, we have to watch Dumb and Dumber. Like, we have to do it. And she loved it. She, she did. She quotes Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> like, have Dumb. you seen Dumb and Dumber? Yeah, I saw her ages ago. Morgan, it was like the same thing. I had a deal breaker. I watched Top Gun, like, as a kid, like, in, in college, I was like, Top Gun, 15 minutes every night. Like, I just loved it. Morgan had never seen it. Put it on. Now it's her favorite movie. Oh, Morgan, what's your favorite movie? Oh, Top Gun. Which All one? All of your favorite things are yes. my favorite things. What would you say you quote the most? Dumb and Dumber, Nacho Libre, Joe Dirt. I quote Shrek actually a lot too. I'm the gumdrop button. I actually say this a lot too. I'm a real boy. Three, two, one. You never graduated. Do you ever, when you're signing things, like really start questioning how to spell things? Like, yeah, because you can't go back. All of a sudden, I was like, that, you spell dental. <laughs> uh, are you ready to go get the sickest workout of our lives? I'm ready. To I want to be put up. through the Steve Cook. Here's what we got challenge. today. Here's what we got. Okay. It's gonna be intense. Like sex while camping. 100 sets of caps. Oh, Max is so mad right now! Let's get back on the plane, guys. <laughs> we got about 45 minutes to get in a workout before Max has to get on the road back to Vegas. So I think we're just gonna do blow up back. Do some supersets. Start off with start off with 10 sets of 10 per time on pull-ups. I'm really bad at pull-ups. Pull You're bad at pull-ups? I, I can do the same that. amount of pull-ups that I could 10 years ago now. No, you're not just, you, it's time to jump on the fitness culture app. We'll give that a change. <laughs> Shut up, fitness culture app. All right, let's go. If I was going to say one back movement for the rest of your life, it's got to be pull-ups. Nah. What do you do? What are you going to do? Seated row. Okay. A seated row. Yeah. Charles Glass special, single arm dumbbell, but <sighs> little angle. How heavy go? So we're pulling across the body. 70s on this one here. So, 45 degrees, pulling to the hip. What did you say? What did you eat? Eat and right. Left handed. Throwing a baseball. That's, that means you're left handed. It's not though. I hit a golf ball. I would say writing is the determining factor of which one would you are. Would you? Yes. But if I throw a ball, shoot a basketball. Who cares about sports, man? Sports. Sports have gotten no, any, no one anywhere. Okay? That sweet little Jamie Eason that I would watch and she was so great with people coming to the line. Jamie, she influenced the way that you would interact with people. 100%. She also taught me. Doing a photo shoot. Say the letter two. Don't say it out loud. The letter Mouth two. It, the letter. Well, the letter two. That was a. What did that was say? a test. That was a test. You pass. Someone give me some pre-workout stat. Say the number two. <laughs> the pen I hold in my hand. He's reading. He's reading. Say the letter. No, the number two. Peer through the fog. <laughs> That's it right there. That's I have the look. No idea what you just said. So it's the model face. <laughs> Peer through the fog. Boom. Oh, that's it! That's beautiful! Dude, two is my new favorite letter. It's beautiful. Max, he's so hot right now. That is the back portion. Make sure you come in later today and hit biceps. That was a good back day. It was that quick, was, 45 minutes. Down the pain train of back. 
started off with, what did we do, five or six sets of 10? I, I think we did like 30 sets of 20 sets. reps each pull-ups. That's a lot, it was over a thousand. I don't know if you could count, I can barely lift my right arm. You have to get to Vegas. You're I flying do. out. Max didn't know there was a time zone change. If you guys were wondering, Vegas is on Pacific Standard, Utah is on Mountain Standard, which by the way, a lot of people didn't even know Mountain Standard time existed. No, no, no. Turns out that uh, everywhere you go, there's different time zones. But if we miss our flight, we would have set up Omnia. Um, um, oh yeah, just go to the play club. Well, if you hit hit that up, let me know. I'll see if the old ball and chain will let me out for a night with the boys. <laughs> it's been a minute since since actually my buddy Ryan Hughes and I went to Nachtflug in Germany. We had a great time. Maximilian. <laughs>